A woman earlier this year went viral because she said that for her next partner or relationship, she would not be his secondary mom. She wouldn't be picking up after him and she wants a partner that can basically still survive as an adult. And just yesterday, and you guys can look up the full um, article, Vice released this article that says, new study shows man children are destroying women's sex drive. Now this picture is a man with his head in the washing machine or dry the dryer. So that's just a funny picture, but it kind of goes along with this. I will get into parts of this article. This woman named Leanne said that she moved in with her ex, her now ex-boyfriend, and he basically was a man-child. She says that it hit me he was a man-child when he didn't know how to use a washing machine or make the bed. Now, it says that he didn't know. He probably acted like he didn't know. Um, she said that, she, that he did make minor efforts but didn't seem capable. They use weaponized incompetence to make the woman just do things. She also says, bear in mind, he'd moved out of his parents seven years earlier. So at one point, he did have to clean up after himself. He just chose to not because he had a woman now in his household. I don't know if this happens with um, the gay community or not, but this learned incompetence is a theme that I'm seeing lots of women across race, culture, and country speak on. Um, okay, so dubbed man children, these men can be characterized by a no number of childlike traits, including not noticing the dishes need washing or bins need emptying. So she, they're saying bins because I believe this first story was based in London. So it's across country. Um, empty, that bins need emptying and weaponizing their own incompetence when they eventually do it. So they do it terribly so the woman will just swoop in and just fix it. Being ungrateful for the emotional and physical care provided by their partner and general helplessness when it comes to and general helplessness when it comes to taking care of themselves and sometimes their own kids. And basically women are just tired and being tired and having to do too much and the stress of motherhood and mothering a man child will destroy a woman's libido. So this woman, she says, our sex drive completely died after six months of living together. I couldn't take him seriously anymore and resented my role in our relationship. I felt like his mom. This also goes along with the story where the women were saying that they would rather be homeless than to live with a man again. Recognize that this is across the board. Women are tired. You know, I don't get it sometimes. You know, I really don't. Uh, I don't know what she thinks about this shit before she puts out a video. You know, I wonder if she thinks about any of these other women that are these same talking points, you know, if they think about what they're saying and shit, you know, when they talk about how they don't want to, you know, uh, cook or clean or, you know, have sex, you know, in a relationship, in a committed relationship, right, a supposed relationship, I'm assuming a committed relationship, excuse me if that's not what you mean, but, I, you know, anything else you would just honestly be roommates, you know, if you're not sharing any bit of intimacy there shouldn't be any expectation of any, uh, you know, provision or protection, right? But I don't think that's this woman's goal. I honestly think she's just a fucking loser, all right? And I have to hate to use some un, un, politically incorrect words. I just, you know, she sounds functionally retarded to me. You know, to me only. She sounds functionally retarded, all right? Like... You know, if you're, we're supposed to be in a relationship, and you don't want to do any of that kind of shit while I have to work my ass off. I have to go work my fucking ass off, right? And then I have to come home, and I have to deal with you because we're in some kind of a relationship that's undefined and shit by, you know, the standards you said and shit. You don't want to cook clean or get up off no, that, that busted piece leave and give me a slice of it and shit, you know. What's the use of you being in a house, okay? The, you, the guy could just get himself a fucking roommate and shit. And they could split everything 50-50 and willy-nilly and shit. Or he, you could just leave and he could take care of his own shit. You know, if he's doing his own cooking, his own cleaning and shit, you know, take care of his own period needs, what do you what are you necessary for? Why does he even need to know you exist, okay? 
Why does he need to put himself out there like that? Okay, no one, any of you supposed regular black women, says, you know, I've yet to answer this fucking question and shit. All right, nobody wants some, some, you know, a, a dissident in their fucking house. Like, why? What the fuck do he need you for? You know, what are you talking about? Don't you think a guy's sex drive drives up? Huh? Don't you think that drives up? Like, you go work your fucking 40 plus hours a week and shit or more, you know, in in this current environment that we live in, that we've been living in for decades and shit, you know? And then you gotta commute, you gotta deal with all this shit, you gotta come, you gotta deal with bills and provision and protection and shit, and then you got a dissident that don't wanna do nothing. She wanna sit on your house. Basically, what you're describing is that you feminists, uh, you just want to be squatters, okay? You want free every goddamn thing and, and give nothing in return and shit, okay? I'm not going to barter with some woman for her fucking peace leave and shit. I'm not going to barter for you to do things in the house and shit, okay? I'm not going to engage in any kind of transactional relationship. What do I fucking need you for? You can just get a professional to provide that period need. Or you could get uh, a sexual aids. You don't really need, no one needs you. You know, I'm just talking to this chick with this big lantern jaw. You know, we always see her pop up every now and then, just running her mouth and shit. And I think she's just mad because nobody wants to take her up on an offer. She got, you know, left out in the cold too many times. I don't know what her personal vendetta is or issue. I'm always quite open about mine. And I am going to tell you, I have not lied one fucking moment of shit. I am a, uh, well, I'm a misogynist anarchist and shit, okay? And I don't believe that any kind of relationship that she's describing is actually necessary to anybody's life. There's no functional need for or use for it. To have a, just a squatter in your house. Just that you can get a fucking pet. Alright? Or you could just talk to people online in, in a fucking, you know, online uh, situation there. You know? And you can, you know, order out. You can Uber Eats. You can get some Uber Eats peace leave and shit. You know? From professional. You could travel abroad and shit and trick off your money and shit you don't have to trick your money off here in the states and shit it's nobody's business what you're doing and shit okay i'm just telling these people to their face what the fuck does a man need you for you know if you find everything's such a fucking inconvenience to you what the fuck does a dude need your ass for all right what does he need you for you're not giving him children and shit you're not giving him your busted ass peace sleeve and shit you're not being a decent companion to him in any fucking way. You don't want to uh, do anything, any kind of things in the house. Chores, you know, like, you know, cooking and cleaning and shit. Washing clothes, shit you do for yourself, but you won't do for him. And he's supposed to provide provision and protection for you, right, for nothing in return. Okay, make that make sense, okay? And this is why I have to call you... Uh, no, you're functionally retarded and shit, okay? You're retarded, all right? Did you know that? Did anyone ever tell you that you were functionally retarded? And the reason I say functionally is because you managed to get these videos up. I don't know how you do that. Do you type on your, do you put, you type on your keyboard with your, with your toes and shit like a monkey? Huh? Now, don't go there. I'm black. <laughs> I'm just tired. I always see this lantern jaw motherfucker. You know, she looked like another content creator. I don't know if I want to go there, but she looked like she in drag or something, man. I don't know what the deal is. I just think this is like one of these bitter-ass, non-selected women and shit. And I'm not ragging on her for being non-select, but I, just the fact that she want other bitches to be miserable like her. She want to fuck up other relationships because she don't have one. She don't have no kind of a fucking relationship that's worth shit. And anybody that is in a relationship with her, I would love to see this rube. Okay, I want to see this other unseen retarded motherfucker that would live with her under those conditions, okay? All right, I want you women to know you created all these dissident movements that you keep railing about, that you're bitching about. They got you running scared and shit. You know, you doing all your shit. Even, you know, you want you want a uh, legislature to make uh, it illegal to travel abroad for black men. Okay, let's just be honest about that. All right, let's be honest about that, man. Like, what use would I have for you? Okay, you do nothing in the fucking house but sit on your ass and use energy and power and, 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 and drop waste and shit, you know. Well, what the fuck? You don't need to live with me. Go live in a fucking zoo. 
Okay? What, what, what is the guy getting out of it? The right to see you walking about? Is that it? And I say, fuck that noise. Alright? I'm going to say, fuck that noise and shit. And I tell these young kings, right? Plain and simple. S-Y-S-B-M means save yourself black man. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.